center of attention they all want some i'm like fire hot as the sun the dance floor is burning call 911 and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm cleaning my totally trash house that was such a disaster. We had family over the night before and had such a great time with them. We were eating, drinking, and catching up, and my kids made such a mess playing with their cousins, and honestly, everything downstairs was totally trashed. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Helena and I'm a mom of two little ones. I do cleaning, organizing, decluttering, clean with me videos for cleaning motivation, as well as some home design, renovation, and DIY videos. My background is architecture, design, and real estate, and I'll have some really great content coming out soon. I hope you guys hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified when my next video is out. I'd love to have you join my YouTube family and if you guys like cleaning, organizing, and decluttering content, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. wanted to stay on top of the laundry especially if you guys saw all of the folding that I just did in my last video so I started off by folding sorting all the laundry I put some loads into the dryer and I put more loads into the washer If you guys have seen any of my last videos, then you guys know when I designed this house and especially the laundry room, I put two sets of two waste baskets to keep dirty laundry hiding while I can easily access them when I need them. It only honestly cost a little bit more, but I think it was totally worth it um, in the design and definitely increases my return on investment when you sell this house. As I'm walking to your place, I'm shaking. I am picturing the words in my mind. Honestly, had so much stuff all over the countertops and I started by clearing them off and hiding all of the alcohol back into the pantry. 
So after my guests left, we ended up going to bed and when I woke up the next day, I was a little overwhelmed by the mess and the huge amount of dishes, but that's okay because I powered through, cleaned it all up and washed the dishes and put them away. It's like you almost know what I am thinking. Cause I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Cause you're the best thing, best thing. You're the best thing that I've ever had. You're the best thing, the best. So the holidays are quickly approaching. We're gonna have Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day, also New Year's. And I wanna hear from you guys. Do you guys have any great like traditions? Oh, do you host all the time? Do you go visit family? Do you travel? Um, I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing yet. We wanted to travel a little bit this year for Thanksgiving, but I don't think that's gonna work out. So let me know in the comments below, what are your big plans for this year? Um, I love, love hearing what everyone's going to do. You guys see my adorable little daughter here, Amelia, and you're gonna see my son Lucian somewhere in the background. He's probably being mischievous right now, but that's okay. And Amelia was just kind of helping me clean up a little bit, but she was really tired and didn't want to do too much. They both ended up taking a nap after because they went to bed super late last night. I honestly was not kidding when I said that we had huge, huge amounts of dishes and I had to end up breaking it up to two sections because I just could not fit everything in the drying mat. So once I cleaned the first section, I um, dried it off, put it away, and then got on to the next section. You guys, I want to hear from you. What is your least favorite housework chore that you just cannot stand doing? For me, honestly, sometimes it tends to be laundry, but it does vary. Um, there are days I'm super in the mood and I can get tons of laundry done, get it put it away, and there are other days that I just absolutely cannot stand looking at it. Let me know in the comments below. I totally 
ended up spilling coffee all over myself like a klutz, so I had to change and my husband got my kids down for a nap, so I wanted to get the rest of the house cleaned up and organized. There were so many toys everywhere and honestly, I threw everything just in the bin because I just needed some sanity. Um, I didn't do any sorting or organizing with these toys. My kids totally destroyed any organization that I had done not too long ago. And so, like I said, for my sanity, I just wanted the house to be clean. I will be organizing these toys, but not today. It's gonna be a whole different day and we're gonna have to kind of figure out a new toy system so I did mention in my last video that I did get a basket for my blankets and you guys see it right there on the left it's just a plain wicker basket but it does such a good job of keeping those blankets off the floors and off the couches and I saw a really great post recently that said the difference between a cluttered, disorganized house and a clean house is, is literally just baskets. Having some place to put some of those things in. So like a basket, if you have laundry and you put it in the basket, it's out of sight, out of mind. If you have blankets, instead of it being all over the floors or all over the couches, you put it in a basket. Um, if you have like your makeup, instead of it being all over your drawers, you put it in a basket and everything is just in one spot. I had to run out really quickly and I had to get some groceries, so I will show you the items I ended up getting um, later in the video. mentioned that I do want to get matching chairs for my kids and I really am having a hard time finding something for them. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. I need them to be soft, comfortable, and have like a removable and washable covers and I don't think I realized how hard it would be to find like a set of really good chairs for kids that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So like I said, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. If there's something that you love, let me know in the comments. So the one thing that I'm 
always, always doing is vacuuming. Honestly, I vacuum most days, twice a day, so in the morning and in the evenings because there's just so much crumbs or dog hair just everywhere and I have to keep on top of it or else it just turns into a disaster and you guys can see what my kids already did. Um, they have, there's like, I'm pretty sure there's like peanuts everywhere here at this point. So I ended up going to the Polish deli by us and buying some of the imported foods. If you guys don't already know, both my husband and I are Polish. We both speak it fluently and my kids do as well. Um, we really do a lot of our own, uh, I guess, cultural cooking and we're very involved in our culture. And most of my family is actually back in Poland. And my parents do go about once a year back to their house in Poland just to go see their family and just kind of take care of their home and things like that. So I'm hoping that this year, if everything settles down in the summer, we will be able to go and take my kids out there so they can see it. I want to hear from you guys if your family is maybe in a different country or back home. Do you go and visit very often? Do you have any plans to? And where is your family from? I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments below. Why I should fall back to you So my upstairs was actually pretty clean and it didn't need much cleaning or organizing. So the only thing I did was make all of the beds in the bedrooms, picked up any dirty laundry and anything that was just kind of hanging out. So I ended up taking off the flat sheet off my daughter's bed because I feel like she gets really tangled up in it at night when she sleeps and she really doesn't like how it bothers her. Same for my son. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I wanna dry up but you 
just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away it's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd be super grateful to have you join my YouTube family. No cares, 